Hi, I'm Camus Davis. Today we're going to learn how to make bacon. So today I have a, a whole uh, belly, pork belly. I just cut this off from a whole side of pig. I'm going to just cut this in half first, about here, right where the ribs stop. Like that. And then I'm going to basically make sure there's no holes, strange little jagged areas on the meat so that no bacteria can get in while it's curing. And then I'm going to make my spice mixture. So today I'm going to be making a pancetta, which is basically Italian bacon that's unsmoked. So I've got about um, two tablespoons or a tablespoon and a half of crushed juniper berries into the bowl. I've got about two tablespoons of crushed or ground black pepper. About one teaspoon of allspice. One teaspoon of coriander. And I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I'm going to crush up some bay leaves into the mix. And that's about five cloves of garlic. About a tablespoon, two tablespoons of honey that we're going to spread right onto the meat. Two tablespoons of molasses. So we're just rubbing the molasses and honey all over the meat, like so. And then we're just going to rub the spices right onto the bacon. And I usually, my main rule with bacon is to do um, about a tablespoon and a half of salt to a pound of meat. I'm guessing that this belly is about three pounds. In a few days, the salt is going to um, start to draw moisture out of the meat. And then it will start to harden and get more tacky. So then I'm just going to put it on a tray like so over a cookie sheet in the fridge and let it dry for three days. Once that's done, I will um, take a larding needle and put some string in and then hang it in my fridge or in a cool, dark place for about another week. So I'll be ready to slice it. I'll take my long carving knife. And I like my bacon a little thick, so I'll do about a quarter of an inch or so, about like that. If you want to cut large chunks of it, you can, and use that for, say, um, starting a stew or um, flavoring a soup or that sort of thing. And that's how you make bacon.